Introducing first, boxing out of the blue corner to my left. He comes to us wearing blue trunks with white trim. He comes to us from Watertown, New York, an online internet viral sensation. The king of the nipple. He is the Puerto Rican powerhouse, Javier Torres. And his opponent, standing directly across the ring, fighting out of the red corner to my right. He's coming to us sporting black trunks with red and green trim. His record impressive, one win, zero defeats, and that one big win coming by way of knockout. He is the fighting pride of Ojai, California. Ladies and gentlemen, Alexis Flores. Four rounds, lightweights. All right, so you can see both fighters here receiving their instructions yep. from referee Tom Clark. 1-0, Alex Flores. 0-1, Javier Torres. Four-round fight in the lightweight division. Again, both these guys, relative novices in the ring, just getting their career started. I had lunch with uh, Alexis. He seemed very calm, ready to go. Had a nice light lunch. His mom's here in attendance. Oh, um, yeah. flew all the way from Made California. The trip. Yeah, yeah, okay. exactly. So Got a little pressure there. Yeah, right, looking for, for his... Looking for a second pro victory. But one thing, guys, I'm noticing right off the bat with the legs floor is he seems to have a decent sweat as where uh, Javier Torres seems a little dry. But Javier is one of these guys we saw in his last fight. He kind of warms up as he goes. Right, he's right. I'm having no trouble getting off right now. As I said, uh, similar to the great, late, uh, well, he's still alive, the great professional wrestler Greg Valentine. Some guys just need 20 minutes to warm up. Yeah. <laughs> But you know, well, for Javier, this is a four rounder, so he's got to he's got to warm up pretty quickly here. He's yeah, got to look got to look. Time. I like the counter Kyle shot. Was, yeah. was was Torres in the uh, southpaw stance last time we seen him? Now he's back in conventional. He's back. But he's I, back I, I believe he switched the last fight as well. He did as well. Yep. Leading with the jab well. there, Torres. You can see there, oh, nice, 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 nice one. Two. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that was a left hook, right hand. Torres, nice job there, finding the opening. There's. Good counter shot there by Torres. Yeah. Like I said, these guys, I think, are, you know, looks pretty even so far in terms of ability. Nice left hand there by Flores. Good, good exchange. Shot. Seeing a lot of good work here for yeah. both guys in the first 60 seconds. One thing that's catching me by surprise, nice guys, is that, that uh, Torres is right now able to back Flores up a little bit. Nice right hand by Torres. I think Alexis is wearing these shots well, though. Yeah, nice, I would agree. He has nice body work in the last exchange. This is really the first bout. Sneaky I'll, left hand. You know, nice go, jab, though, by, by Torres. Uh, where I think Alexis Flores, is in there with me. an opponent that's coming at him. I, mean, I agree. Carlos Galindo yeah. in his pro debut, he's a yeah. veteran. Ooh. But he's a guy that kind of, you know, he's sort of covering up, and he's, he's looking to survive a bit. And right. here you see Torres. You know, trying to cut off the ring a little bit, trying to lead. And you can see there, nice, nice Good lead. Yeah, lead there's a nice left, shot. Lead left. Lead yes, left. left and rip with the, yep. with the straight left hand. Really, you know, uh, Torres comes from that MMA background. He had, uh, I think, six amateur MMA bouts. You know, so. Gray, and, and I want to touch on that. Often you see with the guys in, you know, in MMA, they are comfortable normally fighting out of both stances. It's just something yep. you see more commonly. Absolutely. The sweat, Take sweat the kicks up. away and see. Yeah. Yep. Good nice. exchange by this both This is ben. super nice. even. These are good exchanges. It's a dead even round. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Both guys, both it's guys good, here. It's good to see Alexis. That's, uh, what, uh, that's you know. what Alexis wants to do, though. Work yeah. off that jab, hit that body, as you Go mentioned, that, Kyle. Yeah. That left hook to the body. Ooh, nice one to different Torres. <laughs> kind of snap. Yeah. Uh, Tor uh, Flores back for a second there. I'd just like to see Flores keep his, you know, a little more bend in the knees and, and forehead a little lower in these exchanges. Keep sneaking that almost like 45, yeah. left hand 45, though, in on yep. Torres. He's finding a home for that. I think Torres is just better suited, guys, in the, in the southpaw stance from what I've seen. Yeah. Lee is leading better, and he's countering better in the southpaw stance. Agreed. While you're saying that, nice I saw on Flores knee. on a couple nice jabs there. Starting right. to, I think, starting to find a little more home for his shots. And for Flores, you can just tell he's he's coached out of a good gym, you know, because he's dealing with. Ooh, ooh his left hand. Let me tell you, I was gonna say, I was like, maybe Flores might have stolen yeah. around the last thirty seconds, yeah. but but Torres there, yeah, you know, landed that shot, counter shot. Yeah, guys, Flores. But Alexis is moving. You know, every time he switches his stance, Alexis is moving in the right direction, away mm -hmm. from his power. You know, which is a lot to right. compute when this guy's switching southpaw. Right. 
you're orthodox on you. Guys, at the end of that round there, Flores landed the best punch of the round to the body. It's I don't know if anybody noticed it, but Torres, Torres didn't felt like that it. body yeah. at yeah. all. He was breathing. I don't know if you caught that, too. A little bit of a heavy breathing. I can tell by his body language, too, that he was, that he, he was a little yeah. jammed up by that body shot. Yeah. And, I, I, yeah, I want to give Alexis props because, you know, he's switching southpaw, and Alexis is going to his left when he's switching, you know, orthodox. Yeah. So it's a lot to keep track yeah. of, you know, yep. not walking into a guy's power when they're, when they're, when they're fluid with that and I'll, lead I'll, leg. For a guy like Alexis that has been out of the ring now for a year and a half. Yep, right. Uh, looking pretty pretty common yeah. there. I mean, Torres is the one that just had his pro debut a few months ago. Fresh, The yeah. fresher Active. of the two. Yep. But I'll say this, uh, Flores, yeah, with that layoff, looking pretty calm in yeah. round one. And good to see him test it a little bit and, and, and not waver, you know? No, yeah, both guys definitely, I, that was definitely a toss-up round, in my opinion, who you like Agreed. more. Both guys got hit quite a bit. Yep. Torres is one of these guys you want to fight coming up uh, in your first two or three fights. You know, you need a test. Nice sneaky left hand by Torres. No, oh, mean right hand by Flores. Yeah, you can just tell from from Torres is the way he moves around uh, the ring. Guy knows how to survive in there. Guy knows mm -hmm. how to go rounds. Knows how to cover up. Knows how to counter. Yeah. And I love the, when he when he, tonight, when he throws guys. that left hook to the body. It's finding a home. Good to see Flores continue that body. Both guys yep. getting a little wild there with the left hooks. Seen a lot of a lot of movement uh, out of Flores yeah. here, and then he he sits down on that one too when he's scoring. The shot he's having the most success with is that sneak 40, uh, 40, 45 like a shovel punch. Yeah, that shovel punch up, little bolo kind of. So yeah, sneaky left hand coming up underneath. Nice, nice. one two there by Flores. Loading up there on some hooks. Yep, gotta like it. Jab there by Flores. Oh, Ooh, but he gets left left that time. Yeah. That time left he tried to the to body do, you know? left to the head landed yeah. at the same time. Torres got punched through those hooks. Yep. Do you guys good remember head. earlier I said, a, ooh. Ooh, that's good, good left hook from when, Flores. When, when Flores is work. going to the body, though, guys, he, he ought to be bending good his knees a little bit there. more. He's yep. standing a little tall to be going to the body, and I think that's, that's why he's occasionally getting hit by those left hooks. Yeah, yeah and I think that, you like said, I think that uppercut there buzzed uh, Torres just for a second yeah. there. He kind of saw it in his eyes. Yeah, I agree. Quick recovery, though. Back coming forward. Yep. Good. Nice body, body shot. shot. Right, right, yeah, right hook. Nice Left job. Left hook to the body up top. Another, another body shot yeah, there. Yeah, caught with the blocked. elbow, though. Yep, good good catch. Seeing, a, I think, you could see more of an uh, offensive output here from Flores well, yeah, in this round. Yep. Torres going for the hold. I, I, while the first one to me was a toss-up, I think uh, I think Alexis is... is so far. Oh, this is Flores' so round so yeah, far. Yeah. Absolutely. He looks to be calming down. He's not taking some of the... Uh, He's not taking some of those shots that he took in the first round. There, I mean, the counter shot's always going to be there for Torres, though. I think that's yeah, his best, is agreed. trying to punch through those, yep. those hooks of Flores. But Alexis has been busy. He's done good body work. Last two punches by Flores were jabs, and they were successful. Yep. I'm sure nice. Coach oh, there it is. Good, good two, would like three. to see yeah, more yes. jabs Every, out of Flores. Just when you think Torres I know. is... <laughs> I was just going to say, yeah. when you think he's slowing down a little bit, he's, he's, saying, he's landing a one-two yeah. that says, hey, I'm still here, Ben. Right. I'm not going anywhere. And there it again. Another. Yep. No, he's not going anywhere. And I think as the fight picks up, he's going to come on more and more. Definitely. But this has been a Flores Good exchange round. here. Yeah. Very fun exchange. And this is. Oh, we oh. see uh, yeah. Flores getting caught coming in there. Good on Flores, though, to try to engage him for those last yep. 10 seconds. Absolutely. After, I thought after Torres yeah. had some Torres, success. Best work, I'd say, in the last 45 yes. seconds yep. there. Yep. Close round. I would I would swing it Alexis's way. Some all the work for the first two minutes, but. Remember I would second Competitive that. fight. Yeah, great great we, matchmaking. We said, yeah, you know, we said uh, before this fight, I was talking to Chris J, uh, Flores' corner man. He knew that this was going to probably go four rounds. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to see Alexis get tested a bit, and that's yep. exactly where expectations have been met so far. Javier Torres does not come to play around. See there, Haas, Janik giving, uh, giving yep. Alexis some advice in the corner. We got Torres right above us, guys, and he, he looks focused and he's uh, he's breathing, but I wouldn't say breathing Super heavy. Super heavy, yeah. No, this, he's in shape. And he's very I mean, relaxed he, yeah, too, which yep. is very important. Exact, yeah, he's, he's not burning great shape extra and, energy yeah, in there. If you're, not, if you're I mean, tight in there, you're still going to get he tired. Se he seemed pretty uh, pretty conditioned to go the four with Nikki Tejada, his last yep. fight out there. All right, so we're around three or four guys once again. If you're just joining us, Alexis Flores uh, in the red waistband. 
uh, from Ojai, California, trying to get to 2-0 and and standing in his way. In the blue trunks, Javier Torres from Watertown, New York, 0-1. For the life of me, I don't understand why Torres doesn't stay in the southpaw stance. He's having far That's more success. That's most success, yeah, yep. I feel like that was the case the last fight, too, against uh, Nicky. When he turned southpaw in that fight, he seemed to, uh, Have to land a little moments. more and, yeah, make make Nicky think about it. A he's back conventional again. Yep. Right down. Again, I just don't think he's having the same success in the conventional stance as yeah. he is in the southpaw stance. Nice head movement, though. Very relaxed. That's the nice yeah. one. Yep. yep. Nice one to you there from Flores before. Now we back to the southpaw. Oh, Jab to the body. Switching as I speak. Yeah. Good Flores, uh, Torres missing there. Flores trying to catch him with a little one-two to that. I haven't really seen a lot of punches in this fight, guys. I'd say major damaging or anything no. like that. But there's been a few, I think, caught the other guy off guard a bit. Yeah. More damaging punches. Yeah, there was a lead up a cut from Flores, Flores yeah. that, that seemed to stun him for a second. But for the most part, they've, they've each worn each other's punches pretty uh, pretty good. Yeah. Nothing, nothing landing too, too no. loud here. There's that sneaky 45 by Flores yep, again. Yeah, yeah. Nice right hand good by right Torres. Hand. Yeah, Torres. Yeah. Torres. Yeah. Torres chooses to lead sometimes, guys. He, yeah. he does have some success. Uh, yep. That's something I'd like body. to see Torres do yeah. more, guys. Hit the body. Flores has done most of the work to the body yeah. tonight. Yep. Counter like jab there Torres by Torres. Do more. Flores trying to, he's been trying a couple uppercuts here and there. I, I like that he's trying to mix up his punches a bit, not yeah. just sitting behind the jab all night. When Javier gets aggressive, he has success. I just think he knows he he doesn't think to be aggressive enough throughout the round, you know? Nice one-two to the body, body there. That was yeah. the, probably the best. I heard him. Yeah, he definitely body. heard him. Yeah. And you said it, Sean. That yeah. was the shots that were really starting yeah. to slow Torres and, uh, down. I think Alexis is uh, sensing now, that. Yeah, it's Alexis yeah, sensing that, yeah. going down to the head. Hook. Mixing up the shots. Body and head, yep. Trying to keep him, trying to keep I him. I expect to see Torres try to come right back. And yeah, because I think away. Alexis just uh, punched himself out yep, ever so yep, slightly. Yep. Looks like Torres is. Still good right hand oh, no, from yeah, Alexis. I was say. Yeah. Torres still coming ahead, though. Even for that brief moment, we saw him stunned yep. by the body shot. He's still trying yeah, to reach man, Torres in there. is tough. Yeah, I think for, for Flores, you just don't want to keep your chin open with right. those wide hooks. Yep. Getting too excited. And he's yeah, yeah right there. there little you go. jack hook. Yep. Good head movement there. Good call though with the right hand. Good round. I'd say Flores wow. is round because he hurt him with the body. Yeah, but certainly. Round. Certainly his round. But I'll but tell you're you. gonna give props to Javier, Javier Torres <laughs> live in there, yeah. guys. For, yeah, this is the type of guy you want to fight in your first yeah. two or three oh, yeah. fights. So that, that much gets hurt, here. sucks it up, and then he's, he's and then answers back. He's here to he's you know he's definitely going through it right now, but he's here. To, he's trying to win. He's trying yeah. to look for ways to to win and see if he can get Flores to make a mistake in there. I think it's the countering through the, the hooks for Torres. It's probably going to be his best opportunity here. Yeah, I'd say uh, the first round was very close, but the, the second two have went to Alexa so far. Yeah. And as you saw, we saw uh, right now Flores, get, uh, Torres getting advice from Mike Taylor, who we'll see later on the show. Yep. Another guy that always comes here to win. Yes. You know, these guys don't play. They, you know, they, you know, we see a lot of guys walk into this ring, and it's, you know, some of them go out a little bit early, but not these yeah. two. No, no, not at all. No, no, they'll be. They'll they're, be they're not traveling up here to just lay no. down. Both guys no. uh, leave it all out there, which is why uh, Michael's coming off an upset win the last time he was in there. Absolutely. All right, yeah, guys. both guys just love to fight. You know? <laughs> they do. Yeah. All right, guys. Last round. Fourth really good. Rounds. Really good first fight. This should be a fun round, guys. Yep. Yeah, it has been a good opening fight. Yeah. Back I mean, and forth moments. This is what you want to see with guys at this skill level. They're just still kind of learning, you and know, I, trying to get the feeling out. Yep. And, uh, and I think like like Nicky Tejada, uh, Flores is in a position where he'll learn from this fight. Yep. You want these type of tests. No doubt yeah, about it. Yeah, he gets it. way more out of this than coming out and blowing out a guy. Absolutely. In nice, 90 nice seconds. hook there. Good 2-3 there by Alexis. There, Good hook Torres. there by Torres. Though, Saying, yeah. you know what? Yep. You're going to throw the hook. I'm throwing the hook too, pal. That's that classic ox knot hook. It comes out almost like a jab and turns out a hook at the last moment. Yeah. Ooh, nice. There's Torres. Nice by Torres, though, yeah. You guys never listen. This is a four-round fight. And right. Let's say Torres has one round sneak, snuck out around right. here. If he took the first, then this fight this could, could be a draw you know, with fight, him winning right, this exactly. one. Exactly. Yep. Could be looking exactly. for the draw. And then a lot of ways. That's a win. I'm, un I'm definitely unsure about you know the first round. I, I say the two and three were Alexis's, sure. but you don't know. I mean, what you never know are what could be on the line here in this fourth and final round. If you're if you're Alexis Flores, you want to you want to close this round out emphatically. But you can see here Torres. 
Still looking for just a little response. busier. He's throwing that jab. Nice right, right hand, hand by Torres. Yep. Oh, beautiful combination yeah. by Torres. Three punch combination. One to the head, two to the body. Nice strong jab. So far, guys, I I'm leaning towards Torres this round. Nice right hand Good by Flores. Two, three by right back. Flores. Yep. Yeah, I'm. I you know it's been so close. I haven't really been scoring it, but I I, I think Flores probably right now is still ahead of my yep. in my head, but. Uh, I'll tell you right now, Torres is at least giving a good effort in this oh, last absolutely. round. I have Flores ahead, but the, and now he's starting the stage of comeback nice. right yeah. now. Yeah, as we say, last 30 seconds the body's or so. where he's having the most success. That's what he wants yeah. to say. And I, for the life of me, I don't understand why Torres is staying conventional. He's had so much more success so far. Left-handed, yep. Looks nice by shot there from uh, Flores before he ducked out of the way. Good of body shot, shot by Torres. Yeah. Right. I love that little, that, that sh little shovel left hand has been... <laughs> Money all night for him. There it is. There we go. But nice Torres is there, a Flores. bring your lunch, you know, lunch pail type of yes, guy. You're yeah, gonna absolutely. get some work in when you're fighting him. Yep. Nice, yeah. nice little defense there from Flores, yep. ducking and Good leaving. Head movement. Working behind the jab. I think I'm sure. I'm sure both these guys are definitely feeling it here. Last round. Yep. Been moving around the ring now for 12 minutes straight. You're nice like, right oh, hand God. by Flores yep. over the top. Oh, nice great right counter from Torres. Torres. That might be his best punch of the fight. Yeah. I don't think it hurt Alexis, but it was no, a I agree. Certainly did, but it landed yeah. clean. Yeah, exactly. If you're yep. a judge, you caught that. Right, especially after a guy misses big and then gets landed Let's see on. Let's both big. guys leave it all here. Yep. Nice. There, you gotta say they're. Let's see if Flores yeah, there you go. throwing some shots here. Yeah, both guys Great finish fight. how you should. That's how a four-rounder should yeah, be, ladies and absolutely. gentlemen. Great effort from both guys. Yeah, going to be interesting to see how these scorecards look. Good I would learning be, experience yeah. for Flores, but I think he won the fight. I agree. I don't think yeah. we see 40-36 uh, across the board, though. I think we might no, see a little might variation. Might see one for, for yeah, yeah, I think, shot. I think Alexis did enough. But if a round doesn't uh, go to Torres. Javier Torres definitely proved he belongs once again. I mean, absolutely, he's not going to be an easy out for anybody. No. I second that opinion by yeah. Kyle. I think Flores won, but we it, may call that him. Being said, I think I'd be surprised if Torres doesn't get a round on. Oh. on, on, yeah. on We may on, call on, him on the, the king of the nipple, guys. but ladies and gentlemen, yeah. there's more to Javier Torres yeah. than the nipple gate. Oh, yeah, he's a game guy that is relaxed in there and loves to fight, and he's physically relaxed, and that's why he's able to go the rounds. And no he rolls about with shots nice, yeah, you know. Yep. You can tell he fights for a living. Of course. Whether it's in a cage or in yeah, a boxing yeah. ring. Both guys here getting ungloved as the sweet sounds of ABBA playing in the background. Yeah. We'll right great fight, great fight for sure. Am I muted? Am I unmuted? Okay. Are we still okay? All right, guys. We're just waiting for the scorecards here. I guess I'm entranced by the fact ABBA is playing right now. Uh, I don't know why. It's very distract. My my wife's here with me, and she's very excited. I think to hear ABBA. It's probably the most. <laughs> um, so we're just waiting for the scorecards. Uh, but another a great four rounder, Sean. Both guys learned, I think, a lot in the ring tonight. Yeah, yeah. I think it's uh, Flores' night and his win. But I think he's going to learn from it, and I think they're going to. We're going to continue to see Torres brought in here to test up and coming guys, and yeah. I'd, I'd be oh. shocked one night if he doesn't upset somebody. Exactly, that, just like Mike Taylor did. We will talk about later on the show. He'll have his. I think he'll have his moment at some point, Sean. Now let's go to uh, Pete Zimbor, getting the fighters in the center of the ring, and we'll go to Pete for those scorecards. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for both of these combatants getting it started in fine fashion tonight in Wintam, New Hampshire. After four hard-fought rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Martha Tremblay, John Madfis, and Eddie Scunzio are in agreement. Your winner via scores of 40 to 36, the fighting pride of Ojai, California, Alexis Flores.